Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Splatoon Online Turf War. Now, if you guys didn't see the previous episode, go watch it. I gave you guys a tutorial of the Splattershot Jr. On today's episode, we're going to do a roller. I was taking a look at the comments of the previous one, and a lot of you guys want to see some roller action, so this is going to be very good. So let's jump on into it, uh, but before we do so, uh, let's go to Equip and find out what exactly is the roller and which one are we going to use. So, we're going to use the Crack on Splat Roller. As you can see, the range is decent, ink speed is decent, and handling is decent as well. Um, these are different categories than the splatter shots, so keep that in mind. Uh, I guess we can, hold on, I guess we can compare uh, this roller to the other roller that I have unlocked. So, Splat, yeah, I think it's the same thing. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's the exact same thing. There's not any worry about that. Okay, so anyway, uh, we have the roller. As you can see, the sub weapon is the squid beacon. Not too many people know how to use that correctly. And uh, the special is the kraken, which is very cool. So if you guys didn't see my amiibo challenges playthrough with the green um, inkling squid amiibo, go watch and you'll know exactly what the kraken does. So um, other than that, we're gonna use my same um, clothing set. Um, as I did before. I did buy a new a piece of clothing, but I haven't leveled it up yet, so I'm not really going to go into, you know, online matches without it, or without it being um, fully leveled up. So here is pretty much what I've got. Uh, let's read the little description. Created in association with Crack On, the freshest name in footwear, the sub allows you to create a jump point for your team, and the special lets you surge across the battlefield. So, without further ado, let's jump on into this. This is going to be good. If you guys are excited, definitely smash that like button. And of course, if we do end up winning, I'll get to wear my very special King of Ink hat. And I know you guys want to see that, so root for me, okay? Let's do it. Regular battle. Let's jump on in. All right, now, of course, in the comment section below, let me know what weapons you guys would like to see in the future. Uh, I know that there is a brand new weapon coming out very soon, uh, which is the paintbrush, and that's going to be very fun. So here we go, Walleye Warehouse, Arowana Mall. I haven't shown you guys the, era, uh, the Walleye Warehouse yet, so there's a lot of areas in this one that you have to uh, look out for. So basic strategy with the roller is just ink everything. Now this is a little bit different uh, simply because you have to be able to pretty much mow the lawn, per se. Make sure you guys cover everything that you can, and then watch your ink pack. Yeah, watch your ink pack, because ultimately, you may end up running out of ink, just like I did right there. Now, what's cool about the roller is that, aside from just rolling and covering up a lot of turf, um, you can actually do like a splat attack, which is massive damage on your opponents. Alright, so I'm doing pretty decent with covering up. Okay, I've got my special, that's good. So whenever the special, whenever you have your special, then it's time to go into battle. Now what's cool about the Kraken is the fact that um, I can go through and um, I can use it kind of like the shield or the bubbler, for example. I can use it like in case I'm in like a panic situation. But right now, as the roller, your role is to cover up as much ground as you possibly can. Oh, here we go. All right, we got someone. There we go. Good job, team. All right, now I'm going to enemy territory, especially in this level. It's kind of uh, kind of scary to do that. But right over here is where you can't climb up, so you might as well ink it. All right, I'm going to actually throw a beacon over here in case my guys want to come over. All right, let's see. I think we're doing pretty well. The gamepad shows that we're doing decent. All right, let's see what we got. I'm just going to swim on over there. Got him. Got him. Cracking time. Get over here. Who wants some? Yeah. Easy. So now with the Kraken, you can turn into it. And then ultimately what you have to do is you have to, um, you have to jump. You got to jump as a Kraken. Okay, looks like we have the, the main turf over here. Okay, you gotta be a little stealthy. It looks like we're holding them. There we go. 
I'm just gonna head on over here. Oh, that was a bad idea. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. It looks like, okay, you guys are seeing the bottom screen, right? All right, yeah, we have this in the bag. I just need to go the long way. Here we go. Now, I don't have my special, so going into battle without your special is very risky business. <laughs> splat of that dude. Oh, a little bit more. Nice. Okay, I got splat at the end of the last second. That really didn't matter. So, there we have it. Not bad. 69.6. Um, as you guys can see, we did pretty well. Um, good use of the crack in there. Uh, 977, uh, although I didn't get the highest score on my team. Um, Lusty did pretty good, or Lysty. That was pretty awesome. Okay, well, here's to another map. So keep in mind that when you're using a roller, you have a dedicated role to do. I mean, you're not too much on the offense, but it's more of a, a defensive weapon so that you use it to cover as much ground as possible. So there we have it. Let's jump on in again. Hopefully we get a newer uh, newer level. I want to go to the mall. Well, I don't mind the warehouse again. We could do that. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot to put this on because we won. Hurry! We won! <laughs> oh, man. Okay, going green. That's fine. Going environmentally friendly. All right, now I'm going to make sure that I cover every little spot of this. Because that's my job as the roller. We got to keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Because it is very unlikely that our enemies are going to um, come over here in our area. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time just going through here. Now hopefully my teammates are doing their job, you know, infiltrating. Okay, here we go. Alright, so they got the echolocator going. Alright, I may need to put a squid beacon somewhere. Okay, so I did a good job completing pretty much our entire secret area. I gotta refill a little bit. Okay, 239, not bad. Alright, here we go. Not bad. Cover up some of this purple mess. Ooh, here we go. Some green guys help me out. Excellent. All right, here we go. I'm just going to put a beacon right over here. So in case one of my guys uh, dies, they can easily spawn right over here in this area. And now with the beacons too, if you see an enemy beacon, you got to destroy it with a couple ink shots in order to, um, you know, make sure that they don't do that. They don't use it. Just cleaning up. All right, let's see. Okay, there's a lot happening right there. Okay, it looks like our team is pretty pretty well. We're done. We're doing very well. They got sprinklers going and everything. This is awesome. Ooh, man. Whoa. Oh, I hate that weapon. That blaster is so strong. If you get hit by it from really uh, close, it's over. All right, so luckily I put my squid beacon over there, so I can literally teleport to my own beacon, which is awesome. Uh, I'm going to throw another one over there, just in case we need it. All right, I got to get a little bit more on the offensive and coverage. There's a lot of ink. Okay, well, I'm going to try to infiltrate, lone wolf style. Nice. Dude. Oh, come on. It was rightfully charged. I was about to turn into it. See, as you guys can see, if you guys are looking at the bottom screen, a lot of my guys are using my beacon. So that is a, a very good... Ugh. That was very good going on my part to put that beacon right over there. This is another easy win, so I'm going to keep this King of Ink hat on. There we go. Yes. Okay, easy. Probably I didn't do so hot. 713, yeah, third place. I mean, with this kind of roller, it's not necessarily my style of play, um, but it's still fun to play with. So let's try it again. Hopefully we get to go to the mall. 
I want to go to the Arowana Mall. So we won three matches. Uh, we're going to do three matches. Or no, sorry. We won two. We're going to win, or we're going to go through and play three matches per episode. Because it's fun that way. And it's nice and short. And uh, you guys kind of get a taste of what this weapon's all about. Okay, here's the mall. Um, I've got a very good spot where I can put this uh, beacon. So hopefully we can put it there and then uh, do some work with it. All right, here we go. And I'm going to actually use my Kraken this time around. All right, here we go. I just got to really focus on covering up this area. It's like mowing the lawn. See, that's cool. They put a sprinkler over there. That's genius. So as, as you guys see, if you have the sprinkler sub weapon, make sure you guys put it over in this area. Help a, help a inkling out. Okay, really? Wow. Yeah, I need to make sure that I cover all this. Just because no one's going to come over here. Wow. I need, like, ink saver sub, um, like, ability on my gear. So that I can keep on rolling without having to refill. Okay, here we go. Not bad. Oh, look, look what we have here. There we go. Put the hammer down on him. I'm trying to infiltrate my base. Ooh, come here. You want some of this? You better run. You better run. Get him! Get him! Oh, wow, he actually survived that. Awesome. You won't survive that, though. <laughs> Very nice. What, do we got a guy over here? No, we don't. Okay, well, our base is pretty much infiltrated. We need to actually go on the offensive, so... Oh, no, I did not see him behind me. Well, it looks like he got killed by one of my opponents. So, I need to actually step it up. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go teleport to this guy over here. He's in our secret area. Uh, which not it can't necessarily get infiltrated unless they climb up here And I'm gonna try to climb this thing Yeah, this is always good. I like going this area because this is like the way to get um, To the other people's base quickly so go this way when you can and just cover up as much blue all right, I'm going to put a squid beacon right over here. So they can teleport. Oh, hello, ink. Oh. I'm going to stay right here. Hopefully they don't see me. Okay, good. So as you guys can see, one of my guys used the squid beacon and joined me. Oh, wow. And that guy just came out of nowhere. Just cover up as much ink as you can with the roller. Especially all that blue. Oh my god. There's so much blue. There we go. Out of nowhere. Whoa. There we go. Squid these guys. Kraken time. Alright, 10 seconds. I gotta cover up as much blue. Oh god. There goes my last 7 seconds. Couldn't do anything. Not with that blaster. I got hit by that blaster a couple times. That was tough. That was very tough. So, I would say, I think we lost it. I really do. Oh no, we won it! Cool! There we have it. That was, was that three rounds? Yeah, I think that was three rounds. Pretty cool. Um, I got bottom score. Wah, wah. But uh, I feel that I get the bottom score often because I'm just focusing on covering up ground. Um, so not bad. I mean, you could use the roller offensively if you wanted to. Um, you know what? Just for this episode, we'll go with four. Because I want to show a little bit of offensive prowess uh, with, the, with the roller. Hopefully we can do that. Because I want to keep this King of Ink hat on the entire time. We're not going to lose a match. I thought we lost that one, but here we go. Alright, let's go offensive. I don't have the sprinkler. So I'm going to go put the beacon really close to where their base is. Uh, just so that we can get it. So, here we go. Alright, wonderful. I'll stick around behind. You guys keep going forward. I need to at least cover up enough of our base to get the Kraken power-up going. Okay, there we go. Ink Strike, nice. 
Oh, wow, they're already here. All right, let's see. Okay, he's just kind of going over there. I can actually move this way and get that, uh... Oh, my God! I did not see that Kraken at all. Oh, that's lame! All right, our team is struggling right here. We got to step it up. So it looks like the opposite team is a little bit more on the offensive. I'm not necessarily staying back. Okay, so I got my Kraken. We're ready to roll. Let's go. Where are you guys? Oh, God. Oh, the bubbler! The best power-up in the game! I just got wrecked! Oh, man. We need to do something. It looks like they're all in the middle there. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's not good. I just came back to die. This is tough. We need to go! We need to, I need to, I need to like sneak past these guys and just infiltrate. Okay, you guys can do that. I'm gonna move on. Oh, never mind! Oh, man! That's the exact same weapon I'm using. We're doing very bad this round. I should have stopped it. We've got a minute left. Dude! They're not letting up. I'm trying to like go on the offensive and just kill these guys, but this guy's our lone wolf over here. What the heck? That's called a spawn kill, ladies and gentlemen. Man! Another spawn kill. I'm trying. This is bad. See, and this happens sometimes. Like, if you got some really good offensive players on the other team, you can see where the other people are going to splat jump. Like, kill this guy! No way. This was a, a wreck. This was a train wreck. <laughs> oh, that was rough. All right, so I'm going to stick to three rounds because it looks like the moment I go into four rounds, we end up losing. Wah, wah. Yeah, I didn't really do much that time around. 399? Yeah, I wasn't really holding my weight like I usually do. Oh, well. Okay, well, it looks like we're almost going to level up to level 11 here. That's pretty cool. All right, well, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Kraken, the King of Ink. It has to come off because we lost the last round. Wah, wah. All right, no worries. Um, I had fun time. It was really cool. Uh, let's take a look at some other weapons. Um, let's see, the Kraken, Splat Roller. I mean, it's really team dependent, so if you're a good teammate, you'll know exactly where to put the squid beacon on the other side of the map so people can teleport over to it. Um, but there's a lot of other weapons that, um, that I can go through and show for you guys. Whatever you guys want to see, let me know. Um, there's plenty of weapons over here. So blaster, I got blasted by that thing a couple times. Squiffer, NZAP85, the new DLC weapon, which is pretty fun. Splat roller, splatter shot. Uh, so yeah. Let me know what you guys want to see in the comment section below. And of course, if you guys enjoyed the episode, smash that like button and root for me next time because I'm going to put that crown on. I'm going to do it. It's going to be awesome. So yes, I'll stick with three matches so I don't lose the fourth one. And, uh, and we'll go from there. So thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and like button if you enjoyed the episodes. And stay tuned for a lot more Splatoon content. If you guys didn't already check out my playlist, they're in the description below. So I'll see you guys on the next episode of Splatoon Online Matches. Bye, guys.